This is a greenhouse, bathhouse, sauna, guest house. And this is made, made mainly out of cob. And part of it is not plastered so you can see the, the raw cob. This structure is, I think, eight years old. And it's a greenhouse, you know, we watered in here, we take showers in here, we take baths in here. There's certainly no damage to the earth and walls. So cob can take quite a bit of water exposure without problems. That's a cob wall right there that, that is made entirely out of earth. The roof protection of it is also made out of earth and it's been through, I think, four winters now without any damage. But basically, you need to put a roof over any kind of earthen structure, just as you do with a wooden structure. You know, the problems show up a lot more quickly with earthen structures than with wooden structures, but it's all the same forces acting on both of them. You don't want to build a wooden house with no roof, <laughs> or it's going to rot. And straw, like straw bale, will break down even more quickly than cob. One structure I built not too far from here was completely underwater as a result of a flood. For a couple of days and once the flood waters receded and it dried out it was fine there was no noticeable damage at all and so cob can take quite a bit of water exposure without problems so this is just earth the roof part of it is sealed with linseed oil which soaks into the earthen plaster and polymerizes and sort of turns into a plastic like substance so it makes it harder and also much more weather resistant this retaining wall that you're seeing right here is made out of gravel bags. And then over that, because this is an exterior situation where there's no roof protection, we've used some cement to stabilize the plaster. So that's an earth, sand, cement, and straw plaster. And the cement will help the earth and plaster not get soft and erode in the winter rains. If you're doing any kind of unstabilized earth building and you don't live in a desert where it never rains at all and you want the thing to last more than a couple of years, you need to put a roof over it. You need a good roof with sufficient overhang to protect the sides of your wall from, from rain. You also need a foundation to protect the bottom of your wall from ground moisture. And those two may be enough unless you live in a place where you have a lot of wind-driven rain that comes in horizontally. And in that case, you also need a protective plaster. The traditional choice for earthen buildings is lime, a lime plaster. Pretty much every picture you've ever seen of a village in the Mediterranean area, all those white buildings are lime plaster protected. All the British cob buildings that you see pictures of, the white ones, they're all protected with lime plaster actually inside and out and that technique still works really well.